Okay, on number three, we're going to keep going with these difference of squares. Um, notice number three, we have x squared, and you should recognize 121 as 11 squared. So since they're both perfect squares and you have a minus in between, this will factor into x plus 11, x minus 11. Now, I anticipate that most of you will be able to go straight from this step to this step. You won't need to write that middle one. I'm just writing it right now just to see what you, so you can see what I'm doing. Also, please keep in mind that this only works for difference of squares. If the problem had been x squared plus 121, that can't be factored any further. So, difference of squares, not sum of squares. Okay, number three, the second one, I guess, we have x minus 1 squared and 9y to the fourth. Obviously, that first part is a perfect square, x minus 1 squared. And then this, this is the same thing as 3y squared squared. Okay, because if you distribute that square through, you get 9 and y to the fourth. So this is another difference of squares. So your first thing is going to be x minus 1 plus 3y squared. And your second factor will be x minus 1 minus 3y squared. So that's just utilizing the difference of squares. Um, there are going to be some in your homework that are like this. Um, if you get to ones in your homework that you can um, combine like terms once you get to this point, go ahead and do that and simplify it further. Here we can't go any further. Okay, number four. Uh, we have x squared plus 12x plus 36. You may have a different method that you would prefer to use. I want to show you that this is actually one of our special products. Um, we have x squared, and over here we have 6 squared. This is going to be one of those uh, perfect square ones if this middle thing is 2 times x times 6. Uh, and it, it is. So this is our perfect square, so we can factor this into x plus 6 squared, or x plus 6 times x plus 6. Now, again, you may have a different way to factor that that is just as fast um, and you're comfortable with, and that's fine. The advantage to this method comes in on 4b, the second one here. Um, those are rather large numbers, and it's sometimes hard to think through all of those. Uh, however, if you take a look at this and see, look, this is 3x squared, and obviously this is 5 squared. If that middle term is 2 times the first term times the last term, then you have a perfect square. So is 2 times 3x times 5 30x, and it is, so that's good news. That means this is another one of those perfect squares. So it's going to be 3x minus 5 squared. And again, it's a minus because this is a minus right there. Okay. Again, if you have a different method you prefer using, uh, particularly for number 4, these trinomials, absolutely use it. But this is a nice shortcut if you can start recognizing these.